Hello guys, this is Sayyid Muhammad Lukas. I am back with another video. In this video, I will discuss about planar box sizing. So, before start uh, calculation for planar box sizing, uh, I want to tell you what is planar box and uh, why we need to install the planar box and uh, where we have to install the planar box. So, what is planar box? Planar box is a white but short length duct that is used to properly or uniformly distribute the air throughout the system. Also, why we need to install the planar box? There are many reasons that, that we need to install the planar box. First, to ensure the air is uniformly distributed throughout the system. Second, to reduce the velocity of discharging air and uh, third is also to reduce the hissing sound created by discharging air just by dropping the velocity pressure and also this planar box also facilitate the fresh and return air mixing when system is designed for the return air circulation so now the question arises where we need to install the planar box we need to install this planar box before air terminals could be supply diffusers or linear slotted air diffusers so we need to install before this uh, supply diffusers or linear slotted air diffusers this planar boxes need to be installed before them also we need to install these planar boxes uh, at the suction side at the suction end of the air side equipments like uh, air handling units and uh, fan coil units for the return and the fresh air also at the discharge and or the mouth side of the air side equipment so we need to install this plenum boxes to air side equipment also at the suction side of the exhaust air fans so let's start the calculation of the plenum box so what's the size required for the air handling unit so here you see the procedure over here we are going to use the simple equation that is Q is equal to VA here Q is the flow rate that is in cubic feet per minute and V is the velocity that is uh, cubic uh, that is uh, feet per minute and uh, A is the area of the planum box that is in square feet so this simple equation we are going to use to size the planum box so as per Ashray standard the velocity required for the air handling unit planum box sizing is 800 fpm feet per minute so we are going to use this velocity to size our planum box so let's say we have calculated uh, the heat load and according to our heat load the tonnage which we got is 8 tr if you want to know how we have to calculate the heat load you can check my tutorial number 16 and 17 in which I have explained uh, how you can calculate the heat load using HAP software and E20 form so uh, we are going to use our rule of thumb here that is uh, 1 TR required 400 CFM so we have a ATR system so how much is the CFM we needed over here for ATR system that is 8 into 400 that is 3200 CFM that we needed over here so according to this equation Q is equal to VA now we have uh, flow rate 3200 CFM and we know the velocity required for planar box sizing of the air handling unit is 800 fpm so as per this equation q is equal to va we know q and we know v so we can calculate the area by a is equal to q divided by v q is the flow rate that is 3200 cfm and uh, v is the velocity that is 800 so 3200 divided by 800 uh, we got the area 4 square feet so area of the plenum box that needed over here is 4 square feet so before moving to this equation number 2 the area of the plenum box that is width into height I'll show you one figure over here this is the figure so let's say this is uh, the plenum box of the air handling unit 
as you can see that this is the width this is the height and this is the depth of the planar box and this is the opening that will be connected to the air handling unit side suction side so this is the weight this is the height and this is the depth so we need to calculate these uh, parameters weight height and depth of the planar box so let's move back to our equation 2 so area of planar box is given as weight into height so now we have to assume the height as per site condition we need to assume the height so let's say we have a space above ceiling and below slab is 2.5 feet or something let's suppose we have 2.5 feet space between the ceiling and the slab so according to this we need to assume the height of the planar box so let's say we are assuming the height of the planar box is 1.6 feet so this is the height we have assumed over here so as we know the area of the planar box that's already calculated 4 square feet and height we assumed over here is 1.6 feet so using equation 2 we know the width we know the height and we know the area so we are going to calculate the width of planar box that is given as a by h so width of the planar box is area divided by height of planar box area is 4 square feet and uh, height is 1.6 so width of the planar box is calculated as 2.5 feet that is 4 divided by 1.6 so now we have width of planar box that is 2.5 feet and we have height that is 1.6 feet now we have to calculate this depth of this planar box so depth of the planar box is given by this equation that is 2.5 times d now what is d over here d is basically a diameter of the fan blower of the air handling unit so let's say we have a air handling unit of 3200 cfm with the diameter of the fan blower is 12 inches and this in this formula d equal to 2.5 into 3 it could be 3 3 times d so 2.5 to 3 you can use over here so we are going to use 2.5 over here and uh, uh, we assume that diameter of the fan blower is uh, 12 inches so by using this value in equation 3 so depth of the planar box is 2.5 times 12 that is 30 inches if you want to convert this in a feet divided by 12 and you will get the depth of the planar box 2.5 feet so now we have so we have calculated width height and depth so depth is 2.5 feet width is 2.5 feet and the height which we have assumed is 1.6 feet so this is how we can do the planar box sizing for air handling unit so if you want to do the planar box sizing for the fan coil unit FCU so you can do that also the only thing over here is velocity uh, that is limited to 500 feet per minute 500 fpm so the whole procedure is same except the velocity that is 500 feet per minute so by using this velocity 500 feet per minute you can do the planar box sizing for the fan coil units so this is how you can do the planar box sizing so a planar box uh, uh, we need to install for properly or uniformly distributed distribution of the air throughout the system so so this is how you can do the planar box sizing of the fan coil unit and uh, air handling unit so if you want to do the planar box sizing of uh, supply diffusers or linear supply diffusers you can do in the same way the phase velocity required for supply diffusers or linear slot uh, supply diffusers it is 2.5 meters per second that is equivalent to 500 feet per minute so you can use the same procedure above as explained above here 
in order to do the plenum box sizing of uh, supply diffusers and uh, linear slotted diffusers i hope you guys uh, learn something from this video uh, please like share subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon so that whenever i upload the new video you will be notified thank you bye bye